Uh, it's been like insanely incredible. Um, the Wonder Years, like we met Dan from the Wonder Years when we were like, well, I was like 15, and so they were. Ryland didn't meet him. Thanks. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> and so they were like one of the first bands to like ever help us out, and um, it's really cool that it kind of came full circle and we were able to uh, join them on the tour and like they're incredibly nice guys and uh, all the shows are like selling out and stuff so we really couldn't like ask for anything else it's been super good our drummer Jake actually plays in freedom um, and then our merch guy Barnum plays in homewrecker and turnover we've been friends with forever so um, it was just kind of like a thing that we were like Let's do, we're all playing Heartfest, like let's, let's do this weekend with like just our friends and uh, kind of have it be more about just like having fun than um, it like making sense to certain people. But I think it does. Um, we've just, I don't know, we've, ever since we started, we kind of like played shows with hardcore bands and like it's never really been weird. So um, it's kind of cool that we get an opportunity to go back to that and uh especially play with like freedom who um we've played shows with like in our hometown but have never done like a further run with so that'll be really cool um and yeah and home record is the best turnover is the best like so it's gonna be awesome i'm really excited uh it's actually i feel like in canada we appeal to a little more of both than we do in the states i think it's a little more integrated here so i think that like it really it makes a lot of sense doing like just the canadian weekend and having like two hardcore bands and like two uh just like rock bands on the on the tour i think it it works really well here um i think it would work really well in the states too but uh specifically in canada i just think it's going to be uh really fruitful and a lot of fun yeah that's all Rylan has to say. It was definitely like something we had to get used to. I like overall like it was fun and it, it did a lot for our band. I like don't work well in the heat. So like being outside every day in like 90 degree weather. Vegas was like 120 degrees. That doesn't really, uh, that's not really too fun for me. In that sense it kind of sucked but it was awesome. We met a lot of people and like we were on a bus the whole summer, which is just, it was, that was incredible. Um, so we got to see like a whole side of touring that we've never seen before. So it was cool in that sense. You have fun on Warp Tour? I loved Warp Tour. Rylan loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Youth is actually like the first time that we did a record that Matt did all the lyrics. Um, usually before Youth, it was like a split duty between uh, him and I. And so with youth, he everything was really personal and like everything he sang about, like whatever was like very true and like very real. Um, so like even if we wanted to write like the same songs or like about the same things, we literally couldn't because like everything was uh, a place in time, you know. So I think that like whatever we do next, like our next record, I think lyrically it's gonna differ a lot just because we're so different than we were when we were writing youth and like we're doing a lot different things in our lives now and it's not a calculated move to move away from um like the lyrical content on youth but i think that it'll happen naturally uh just because we're like doing different things now so yeah i think it'll be a little different our city toledo is like as of late kind of going through a lot of um shifts in like the music scene um the venue and like promoter that always worked uh did all the shows in toledo moved to detroit so um our friend joey who plays in a band called react and a band called dismantle um he's been doing all the shows now um at this place called the ottawa tavern and uh not too long ago we got to do a show there um we just did like a free holiday show there and it's like this tiny little bar and it's really cool. I think that uh, more people are coming to shows in Toledo and like 
there's more shows in Toledo than there has been in a really long time. Um, so it's really exciting. Um, a friend, a, a band of ours that we're friends with, uh, they were called the Strong Talk. They just like moved to New York. They're called Debt Refuge now. And um, yeah, I think that Toledo doesn't have like a ton of bands right now, but I think it's like picking up and uh, Detroit and Toledo, they're only an hour apart. So I think the D Detroit scene uh, and the Toledo scene kind of bleed together uh, pretty often, which is cool. Um, and the thing about Toledo is that we're right in between like Cleveland, uh, Detroit, Chicago, and Cincinnati. So we're able to feed a lot of these bigger cities and like play shows there and their bands can play with us. And um, it's awesome. So I think that geographically that like assists us a lot in just having cool shows and like having a lot of cool bands to choose from when we're picking shows. So yeah, I think Toledo's on the upswing and like Detroit the past few years has just been like killing it, um, especially in hardcore. Um, so I think that everything like in our area is like pretty cool right now. So we're gonna try to like keep that moving. And I think over the next like year or two, you'll probably see different bands come from members of Citizen and stuff um, and kind of try to just play more shows and like do cooler things in Toledo. So.